Hello my dear friends, my name is Sanna and welcome back to another beauty video. And today we're doing another 3 looks 1 palette plus review, which I absolutely love doing on this channel, so I'm really excited to get into this. So today I'm going to be reviewing this little palette, which is the Root Cosmetics Attitude Academia palette, which is from their manga line. And I have gotten this in PR. This video isn't sponsored, I'm doing this all on my own, but they did send me this in PR for free, so just so you know. I got to pick out some items myself when they reached out to me and I chose this palette in particular because I've been eyeing it for a while and I wasn't really sure if I should get it or not so I was really excited to receive this. Before I received this PR package I only owned one Root Cosmetics product which was this uh, City of Dreamy Lights palette which I have done a 3 looks on palette video on like a year ago. Um, and this is literally one of my favorite palettes ever. So when Root reached out to me, I was super excited and I really couldn't wait to try more of their eyeshadows. So that's why I chose this palette. And also because the color story is just really, really cute. And just look at this adorable manga inspired packaging. It's just so cute. You can see the shades on the back of the palette right here. So today I'm reviewing this palette for you, so let's first talk a bit about this palette and what it looks like. So the packaging is inspired by manga, uh, which is absolutely adorable. I'm personally a big fan of anime and manga, so this is just really cute. I love the aesthetic of this. And it isn't done like very tacky, like some other anime inspired brands I've seen online. The eyeshadows in this palette are either pressed pigment or eyeshadows. They're all cruelty free and vegan, so that's lovely. We love that on this channel. I do want to note that it is just a tiny bit bigger than the other palette I have. It's the same width, as you can see. Uh, it's just a tiny bit taller, which is like not really an issue, but one of the things that Root Cosmetics has a lot. Um, all of their palettes are, and ranges of palettes are kind of in different styles, different aesthetics, different pen shapes, different sizes. So if you have a palette from one series, it's going to be a lot different from a palette from another series. So that's why these also don't have the same size. And as you can see on the back, they also don't have the same pen shapes. These are round and these are square. I personally don't really have an issue with that, but I know some people who really like pens to have the same shape and size so they can mix and match palettes, for example. Like people who take these pre-made palettes out of their packaging and use the shadows in custom palettes. And also some people might find it annoying that this is just a tiny bit taller than the other palette, which I can definitely understand. But anyway, let's look at the inside because the inside is almost cuter than the outside. First, when you open it up, you see this little paper thing that's on front of the shades. Usually this is like a plastic thing, but this time it's paper and it has the same art as the front of the palette, which I think is just a really cute little addition. And when you take that out, this is what the palette looks like. As you can see, it has a very small mirror in the shape of a phone, which is really cute. But just the Root Cosmetics art style and the way their palettes are made, it's just so detailed and thought through. And the concepts are just really cool. Just like the other palette that I have, I'm really excited about how these palettes look. And I personally would want to keep it pre-made just because of the aesthetic, the way everything looks together and the way they thought things through. Just one thing I have to note about this one is that the text isn't in the center of all the shades. For some shades, it isn't exactly in the center, the text, which is just kind of annoying, but you know, we'll deal with it. Just, just the centering on the text is a bit off. They really should have taken a look at that. But yeah, this is the inside. It has 15 shades. And I picked this one just because it was a bit grungy. Like it had some nice murky greens, um, some purples. Green and purple are like my favorite shades to put on my eyes. It has yellow, yellow is my favorite shade. And it has some beautiful shimmers. And I'm absolutely in love with the shimmers in the other palette that I have. So I was really excited to see these ones. So this is what the color story looks like. 
just a bit of mint, green, purple, and then brown and yellow. And I think it's a great versatile color story, but there are still a lot of things that you can definitely match up together. The mattes have matching shimmers to them, like you can match this pink with this shimmer or this shimmer. You have a purple that you can match with shimmers. You have a green shimmer that matches with these mattes. Like, you can definitely combine the shimmers well to the mattes. So you can easily do like one color kind of looks, which are quite easy in my opinion, but you can also get creative and combine a lot of the shades in here. So I think it's a great color story and it looks really cute. I did already swatch these shades, so I'm gonna put them up on the screen right here so you can take a look at them. The swatches were really good, like I don't really have anything to note about them. The shimmers I'm super excited about, some of them seem to be quite shifty, so that's really cool. And yeah, I'm just really excited to play with this. This is what the Attitude Academia palette looks like, so let's quickly get onto the three looks I'm gonna do for you. So let's get started with look number one. I have already done all my base makeup and now I'm priming my eyes. And just like I say in every single video that I do, I always, always prime my eyes when I do my own makeup. So reviewing a palette without using eyeshadow primer would be unfair towards the palette. So that's why we're using a primer and today I'm using the Makeup Academy Eyeshadow Primer Enhancing Nude Base. Okay, so I'm first gonna go into it with a small pencil brush, a fluffy pencil brush and the shade... I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher all these names because the shade names are Japanese uh, and I am not really great at pronouncing Japanese things, so I'm sorry if I like mispronounce everything a lot. I'm first gonna get started with this deep warm toned brown shade called Randoseru. And then going onto my primed eyes and creating a bit of a wing. And I am literally using the lightest bit right now and see how pigmented it already is. I'm also just dragging that same brown underneath my eyes. But just slightly. I first kind of want to get that shape down. And then I'm going to blend it out. Because I am going to blend it out using a lighter brown shade as well. But this one currently seems like very easy to apply and easy to blend. Really having no issue with this shade. It looks absolutely wonderful. Like, I am gonna blend it out with a lighter shade in a bit, but for now, like, even just slightly blending this deep shade is going absolutely well. So to blend this deep brown out, I'm going into a slightly lighter brown shade, which is Udo. And I'm just using that to blend out that outer edge. And we don't want to blend it out too outwards because we do really want to see that wing shape. So this is what we have now, a lovely brown wing. You can definitely just add like, for example, the shade Ginkka on top of like the brown, which is more of a neutral shimmer. And then you have a beautiful neutral look out of this palette. But I'm gonna use a bunch more colors for this look, so don't worry. So next I'm going into this shade. Midori, which is a lovely mint green matte, and it felt so extremely creamy while I was swatching it, so I'm excited. And I'm just applying that to the lid. And then we're just really trying to blend that into this brown over here. I must say, this shade does turn a bit patchy. You can layer the shade pretty well, but it does turn a bit patchy in some spots. You really gotta make sure the eyeshadow base is even and there's no thick lines in there because this will stick to it and it will turn patchy. Now we're just gonna grab an even smaller fluffy blending brush and I'm going into this shade, the yellow, which is Kiro. I'm gonna apply this one to my lower lash line. I am wearing concealer, but the concealer has been set with um, powder, so I feel like for the fact that this is set with powder, it is got getting quite pigmented. You can definitely build this up. And then I'm going into the matching shimmer, which is Haru, 
And I'm just using my fingers for that because, oh, look at that pigment. And we're just applying that over here. Oh, yeah. That is nice. And it does have like more of a minty base, but the shimmers in it sometimes look more golden. So it turns a bit more green than blue. It's nice. It looks real nice. It does give a bit of fallout, so keep that in mind. And then for the inner corner, I'm gonna use Kinka, this shade. It seems pink, but it's more of like a see-through base with a bit of a green-bluish shimmer to it. So that's the shade I'm gonna use for the inner corner. Ooh. And because it's next to that yellow, it seems almost golden from here. Oh, I love that. That's amazing. I'm just grabbing a small flat brush and going into that same shade just lightly, like really, really lightly. And using that as a brow bone highlight as well. Like it's not a glitter, but it's a very glittery looking shimmer. You have like loads of specks instead of like a shimmer. I don't know how to explain that. I'm sorry. So that is the first look done. I'm just quickly gonna add everything that I want to add to this look and then I'll get right back to you with look number one finished. Okay, I'm back with the finished look. This look happens to really fit my top very well. Like, look. <laughs> On my lips, I'm wearing the Maxim More Lip Pencil in the shade Muffin and the Maxim More Lipstick in the shade Creme Brulee together, which is a lovely combo, if you ask me. And lashes are doe lashes in the style Moonlight. So those are the things I added. And I think this look looks really cute. So this is the first look done. So let's quickly get on to look number two. And for this one, we're gonna be using the purple shades in the palette, also with a bit of brown. And we're gonna create a lovely little halo look, which I haven't done in a while actually. So I'm very excited. So I'm grabbing myself a small fluffy brush and I'm first going into the shade Tycho, which is this deep brown. Ooh, there's a lot of pigment coming off. Did you see that? It was just one little dip. And I'm just going to be placing this shade in the inner and outer corner. And of course, I have already primed my eyes. So hopefully the shadows will stick well. I'm not blending yet because I'm going to use some different shades to blend it with easily. And once we got that down, I'm going into this shade Saku, which is the purple matte. And I'm placing that right next to it. And that's pigmented. Whew. And that immediately blends into that brown so easily. Wow. That's a really, really lovely shade. And now I'm going into the shade Udo. And I'm gonna blend out the outer corners. Just softly blending that out. And then just deepening up the outer corners a bit again with Tycho. Just to make sure we got some lovely deep corners going on. I'm just blending that shade Udo into the outer corners of the lower lash line. And as you can see, this shade is a lot more like purpley brown than just brown which is nice but it does look a bit different than it does in the pan okay so the mattes are on so it's time to apply some shimmers and i'm first gonna go into this shade senpai uh, which is just such an interesting shimmer it has a bit of a see-through base and the shimmer shifts between like a blue purple or almost blue to a very pinkish purple like more this shade it shifts very very cool so i'm just gonna dip my fingers in that and apply that right on the center of my lid and work all the way up and it shift i don't know if you can see the shift the shift is so cool and of course also applying that same shade underneath the eye and then I usually just like to go back in with some of the mattes just to make sure everything is nice and blended and all the colors are popping out the way you want to. And then as a finishing touch, I'm going into this shade, Go High, 
and I'm adding that to the inner corner. And this is more of like a bright pink purple. And like that, that's all the eyeshadows done. So I'm just quickly going to add everything that I want to add. And I'll be right back with you with the finished look. Okay, I'm back with the finished look. I turned it very dark and purpley, which I was very excited about. I haven't worn this lipstick in a long time, but I felt it was perfect for this look. What I used to finish up this look, this lipstick is the Maxamore lipstick in the shade Indigo Plum. And the lashes are the Erin Lashes by, by Libby Beauty. My highlighter is a shade from the Essence Air palette. So it's purple, which I thought would be perfect. And I also added some Maxamore eye pencils on my waterline, just to make the look more put together. I must say, I'm really enjoying all the shimmers and some of the mattes. But the deep brown mattes could have been a bit deeper, in my opinion. Because um, I feel like they aren't really that deep. So let's quickly get on to look number three. Okay, let's get into look number three. We have about five shades left that we haven't used yet. So of course I'm using them in this look. And I'm finally getting into these like murky, grungy greens, which I'm very excited about. So we're combining the greens with the pinks and um, that's probably, yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> and I'm first gonna jump into this green shade called Yuri. And I'm using a, a fluffy pencil brush just because I kind of want a tiny bit more control. I want a bit more placement options. So we're using this pencil brush. And I'm just placing this shade in the crease. Going like up until like the center of my lid, I think. And I am going on most of my lid. But I am also leaving a bit of space over here because I want to do... Uh, like an eyeliner moment with the deep green. Then we're gonna go into the pink and I'm gonna go into this one, Okane. But I'm using a similar brush and I'm just going on that inner corner. And especially going in my crease area. And I kind of want to go from this inner corner and blend that color upwards. So now I'm gonna grab a small angled eyeliner brush and I'm going into Baka, that deep green shade. And I'm just using that as eyeliner. And this is very pigmented, it sticks right to that base. Like that, we have a lovely liner moment going on. And now I'm also applying that same light green underneath the eye. And a tiny bit of that pink. Okay, so now that we have applied and blended the mattes, I'm going in with a flat brush. A flat brush. And I'm going into the shimmers. And I'm first going into Yutaka, this amazing green one. Greenish gold, murky green. I don't know what you want to call it, but I'm going to apply that on my lid. Going, like I'm starting in the center approximately where i stopped applying the green matte i'm just blending it on top of that green matte a tiny bit and then i'm going inward so it's on the inside of my lid but it's not fully on, on like on the full inside on i don't know how to say that but you, you know what i mean i really want that edge of that pink to be clear the shimmers do apply a lot better using your fingers than just a dry brush. So keep that in mind. And now we're going into the next shimmer, which is this one, Kinka. And I'm going to be applying that right here on that inner corner on top of that pink shade that we applied. And then just moving upwards a tiny bit. And I'm also applying a tiny bit of that shade right here underneath my eye. Only on that inner corner. And now for the final shade I'm going into this one. Which is Purikura. And we're applying that shade as an inner corner highlight of course. Which is suddenly very pink. So now we have the eyeshadows all down. I think I've used all of them now. So I'm going to finish up this look and I'll get right back to you with the finished look and my final opinions on this palette. Okay, I'm back with the finished look. 
My lashes are doe lashes in the style Starry Night. And on my lips I'm wearing a lip pencil by Max Moore combined with Beirut Cosmetics lip balm. Like tinted lip balm in the shade Blush, which looks very cute together. This is the finished look. It didn't really turn out the way I imagined it, but I still really like it. I think it turned out great. I absolutely love the shimmers in this palette. I just have some issue getting used to uh, what they actually look like. So let's talk about this palette for a bit. The Root Cosmetics Attitude Academia palette. Absolutely freaking adorable packaging. Feels very sturdy, heavy and just, you know, thought through inside as well. Everything about this is just absolutely stunning. The shade range is also extremely cute, like the purples and the greens together. It's just very, very cute. And I like that you kind of have matching shimmers for the mattes, so it's easy to create a look out of it. I must say some of these shades did turn out, a, like the mattes did turn out a bit patchy with me. Um, I don't know if that is because of which brushes I used or which eyeshadow primer I used but they did turn out somewhat patchy sometimes especially the deep browns so that's something to keep in mind and the shimmers are absolutely freaking stunning but you just have to keep in mind that most of them are almost translucent I think like only this one and this one actually have like a consistent base to it that is just something to keep in mind when you're creating a look that's something I had to learn while creating these looks. I'm actually really excited. The colors are absolutely pretty. Um, most of them are quite easy to blend as well. Just like I said, they just turned out a bit patchy, but that might, that can also be my um, eyeshadow base. So I don't know. These shadows are very creamy. They feel very, very soft and creamy. So they may perform better on a non-tacky eyeshadow base. This palette is absolutely adorable. It feels amazing. Um, the shadows are wonderful, they blend well, the shimmers are stunning and then just the packaging itself is just such an added on bonus that it looks so cute. If you like this palette and you want to get it yourself, I do have a discount code for Root Cosmetics website. It's not affiliated, it's just if you want any extra 10% off, you can use my code. It's one bottle 10 um, I'll link it down below as well in the description so you can't miss it. So that was my little three looks on palette plus review of the Root Cosmetics Attitude Academia palette. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me, if you want to see even more from me, my blog, my socials, my Instagram where I share all my makeup looks and my gaming channel are all linked down below so you can check that out as well. And that's going to be it for me today. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles!